All right, in this one we've got question two where we're solving for all values, not just zero to two pi. So let's get started. There's um, In class we talk about there's kind of two or three steps we always follow. And the first step is going to be just getting the sine value on one side of the equation by itself. And right now we have it being uh, added three to it. So what we need to do is um, kind of undo that. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. And we get is sine x equals, now 5 halves is 2 and a half. Minus 3, you get negative 1 half. So step 1 is getting sine by itself. Step 2 is going to be taking and uh, getting x by itself. It's like undoing the trig function. So if we take arc sine of sine x, we get x equals. If we take the arc sine of the left side to undo sine, we take the arc sine of the other side. And we get x equals, well, sine is equal to negative a half at uh, 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. Now, we would normally be done. Like question 1, we'd be done right now. But it is asking for all values. So what happens is if I were to go to 7 pi over 6, take the sine ratio, I get negative a half. If I go all the way around the unit circle one full revolution and I'm back to that reference, 7 pi over 6, if I take the sine ratio, I still get a ratio negative one half. And if I go around the circle twice, or if I go backwards once or twice or three times, I'm still going to get that negative one half. So in order to answer this fully, we would add the disclaimer that this is equal to 7 pi over 6, or every revolution of 2 pi times n, and being the number of revolutions you want to go around the unit circle. Um, and we add that to both answers, plus 2 pi n. And that's the name of the game right there. If you can do that every time, you're golden. Um, it's those three basic steps. It's um, get the trig by itself, then undo the trig function, and then get the x value by itself, or the t value, or whatever the variable is. Get it by itself. So... Um, now in this case, B, let's look at B. I'll even change colors for us here. Um, let's go. We've already got the, the trig function by itself. So we're just going to undo that and say X plus pi over 2. If we're going to undo tangent, we're taking the arctan of the left, and that is equal to the arctan of the right. Now there is one caveat, one exception to that rule that, you know, every time we go around the circle and we add 2 pi, we add 2 pi, we get the same answer. Um, tangent actually does it twice as frequently. So if you think about how tangent is positive here and here and it's negative 2 and 4, um, what that means is the, the tangent ratios um, are like, let's say we're here in the unit circle, we can also go um, just halfway around, just go pi units around, and I'm going to get the same ratio. So when I look for the, the arctan of square root of 3, yes, I have two answers. Like in C, I have two answers. In B, we're going to have one answer. And here's what I mean. Tangent, uh, arctan of square root of 3, x plus pi over 2 equals arctan of root 3 becomes pi over 3. Right, because tangent's the bigger angle when it has the bigger value of that. So, instead of saying plus 2 pi n, this is what I'm saying plus pi n because the other ratio is at pi. The other answer is 5 pi over 3, right? The other place that tangent is square root of 3, is it 5 pi over 3? <clears throat> is it 5? No. 
maybe four. But um, the idea is we don't have to add two answers like we did up above or in a sine cosine situation because if I add pi n, that's 4 pi over 3, and 4 pi over 3 is this one right here. That's 4 pi over 3. And, and I'm, I'm being redundant to say two different answers. Now, the, the last step, get x by itself. We have to subtract pi over 2 from both sides. So if I subtract pi over 2 from the left, x plus pi over 2 minus pi over 2, x equals pi over 3 minus pi over 2 plus pi n. Well, I can't just take these two fractions and, and combine them right now. I do need to do that. I do need to combine them. I just can't right now because the denominators are different. Um, so it's, it's really going to say equals... Um, well, the, the least common denominator here is 6, so that's 2 pi over 6 minus 3 pi over 6 plus pi n. So I'm going to have to go into E here, but uh, x equals, well, 2 pi over 6 minus 3 pi over 6, it equals negative pi over 6 plus pi n. And that is the only answer. I don't need two for tangents. All right, so I got to clear some of this out because um, we're looking at C now. C does ask us for, let me change that back. I'll go to blue again. Um, negative three sine of negative three X equals three. Wow, lots of threes. Okay, well, um, first thing we gotta do is divide by negative three. Because again, we're trying to get the trig function by itself. You divide that out, I say sine of negative 3x. 3 divided by negative 3 is negative 1. Alright, now where is the sine ratio equal to negative 1? So in, in other words, take the arc sine of the left side, we get negative 3x is arc sine of negative 1. Well, good news, sine is negative 1 in only one spot. Negative 3 equals, well, sine is only negative 1 at 3 pi over 2. Again, though, arc sine of negative 1, we also want to say all values. So I'm going to add that caveat plus 2 pi n. Well, we do still need to get x by itself. Remember, that's the last step. First is get sine by itself. We did that. Then undo sine, and then get x by itself. So here we get a divide by negative 3 again, and divide all that by negative 3. So what happens is x is equal to 3 pi over 2 divided by negative 3. And then plus 2 pi n also has to be divided by negative 3. When you take 3 pi over 2 and then divide it by negative 3, it's the same as saying instead, let me change that again, it's the same as saying times negative 1 third. Instead of divided by 3, it's times of negative 1 third. So what that gives us for an answer then is negative 3 pi over 6 plus 2 pi n over 3. And we can still, like, I can box this in. And just to note, I did not mistakenly put a plus sign there. If I took 2 divided by negative 3, yes, that's negative 2 thirds. But the n in this term is the number of revolutions around the unit circle. I can go a positive number of rotations three times around positively. I can go backwards around that the same as I can go frontwards. And what that means is if n is a positive number, I go around positive times. If n is negative, I go around negative numbers. 
And so this negative really doesn't affect the plus two pi n if you're dividing by a negative number. So I did intentionally leave plus two pi n over three. Yes, it is acceptable if you said minus two pi n over three, that's totally fine. Um, but I just wanted to point out that was not a mistake. I did intentionally do that. The other thing would be negative three pi over six does in fact reduce, you could say negative pi over two plus two pi n over three. But I can I will also leave that because I'm out of room. So um, that is C, um, that's enough. I will make another video to do D and E quick, but just so you know, that's, that's the gist of things. Um, D and E, they're just a little more complicated math to get to the final answer. But there you have it. If you have any questions, please let me know.